That's what it would look like if we restored a sink of any kind. It's gonna be dirty, it's gonna be cheap, and it's gonna sparkle up real nice. Good morning, guys. It is Friday. I'm not sure what date it is today, but all I know is that it's flea market day. It's trade days in Fredericksburg, and I love taking you guys along with me when I would do like Rose Bowl flea markets and Long Beach flea markets in Los Angeles. And now that I'm here renovating the house, we have the Fredericksburg flea market. I also took you guys along last month. If you haven't checked that out, I'll leave it linked for you, but we're gonna try something a little different now. You're actually on my GoPro camera. I want to see if I can get more steady, clean, crisp footage for you guys. I haven't ever done a full video on the GoPro, so I'm hoping that it'll give us a little more steadiness. 8.30 right now, and it is so icky outside. Like, what? 40 and 50% chance of rain. We have about a 30 minute drive. Are you gonna stay here, my sweet princess? Oh, I love you. We're gonna meal prep too, so that we can have our lunches, because all they have there is like fried food. <laughs> Wild Sea Farms, oh they are! Wild Sea Farms is so beautiful. It's right across from the flame. I've been waiting for all of the wildflowers to grow. Oh my gosh, look, it's red. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty. Is this it? Mm -hmm. Look how furry they are. They are so furry! We kind of figured that since it was rainy, rainy and it's Friday, that not many people, there's no, there's like, I need five dollars. Yeah, it's five dollars to park. But for all weekend, so if, if we, for whatever reason, need to come back tomorrow or Sunday, we can. When we come back tomorrow, when, we always come back. That's true. So we're not particularly looking for anything, which is horrible, because then that means we're open, right? Pots! Oh, okay, she's looking for pots. I'm still looking for vintage glassware, but that could be horrible for the money that I just got from the bank, because I'm open to everything, or, or we won't find anything. Who knows? I chase love like a younger man. I tried to find someone to make me right. I know now no one can. We went into Werner's and they had this beautiful vintage library of all these vintage books. So I'm like, I want that for the cottage. Oh, it's too much. The back ones right there. This is the lady with the glassware. Maybe, just maybe. See, this is just not it. It's pretty, but it's not it. $29, set of nine. Not bad. I just want it. No, it's just not. Yep. It, it's, 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 I think I'm looking for a particular pattern. Like that yeah. in a cup. I know. I like that color. But that's pretty. That's really. I would like them better if they were like a sage green. For me. I know, but they're pretty. That's yeah. a pretty color. How much set of tables? 24 for the set. Mm -hmm. Four. Oh. And then I too forgot. 
need this. I really like having one of these by my sink because I paint so much that I get my hands like, I need to like actually clean my hands better. I kind of want to find like a really cool old like flea market sign for the pop-up shop. I have something like a really cool one, but like an original, kind of like this one, but not farmer's market. But something more intricate, not simple, like with a lot of stuff on it. $225 for this set. No central, why central canister? They must be valuable. Tea, sugar, and rice. I know, but they must be valuable. I would like to get some pretty mixing bowls. The perfect print. I'm so picky. You are. I'm like so picky. I don't know why. It's like I want the perfect pattern, the perfect color, the perfect size, everything. Mom got a really pretty sugar canister here last time. So gorgeous. And she loves it. So we're gonna see what else she has. The color is pretty. It's simple, but it's 32. Also found that um, light here, the gold, the brass light that my mom and I are still kind of fighting over. I'm wondering if I want to restore sinks for the cottage and the guest cottages. It's quite a bit of money to restore them, but we would be reusing them. What do you do with those insulators? What do you do? Wait, what are they? Insulators. What does that mean? What's an insulator? They go up on top of the transformer what? stuff. These? They go up on top of that? Why? Oh, they go up on top there. of there? Thing. I don't know. I didn't go to electrical school. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> mm, this is cute. 95. Do we need to make like a, a greenhouse garden with those big mirrors that I have? Like everyone told me to? Not mirrors. Windows from the hot tub room. Absolutely. Should that. we make a Abs greenhouse? Yes. Because we're going to have to have something yes. so that... Tell them, <laughs> tell them to tell you yes. <laughs> No, they, they were saying to use it, repurpose them for like a greenhouse. The rabbits and the deer eat everything, so it would have to be enclosed. I'm very into this old ladder, this wooden ladder. I'm very into it. This would be so cool for a table. You know, if we're making like coffee. Ooh, these are actually really cool. What does that say, you guys? Say $20? I just don't have the house to build the coffee table yet. I'm trying to be frugal and smart. So if I start buying a whole bunch of stuff before I need it, I'm gonna end up not wanting it later. Ooh, this is cool. Ooh, I might for one of the cottages though. For the, we'll have a vintage one. That's what it would look like if we restored a sink of any kind. It would look like that, but it's not, it's not cheap. Mom's into jokes with the last. Is that your Oh, yeah. Nice. 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 <laughs> this would be pretty for your Q-tips in your bathroom. Could be yours for $8. Vintage S etched glass jar with lid. Look up. Look up. <laughs> I even like that textured light bulb. Trinket dish. Vintage Nico uh, cup and saucer. Japan uh, you know, she's dainty. She wants to sell this. Look at that. You haven't bought anything. No, no. Is that, is that why I'm not sure that's 
I'll do four per eight if you want them. They're very classic. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take these. They're Homer Laughlin. I don't know if you know anything about that, but they're a very nice brand. Nice. Oh, I love that. Thank you. I found my favorite lady that was here last time. She's so funny. Mm -hmm. Art Deco. Yeah, I don't like Art Deco. Oh, radiant floor would be wonderful. I actually, you know what I did is I pitched my taste on the double bed. She just always has so much stuff, and I love stuff. Have a great day. You too. Come get it. I got a rolling pin from you last time that you put ice in. Yeah, isn't that the best? Deal? Oh, I love it. I haven't used it yet, but I love it. Because everybody just told me cellos of it. Yeah, it's just a. Cool, it's well, you, you can't find it. stuff like that. Yeah. You know? I mean, do you like this kind of mixing bowl? That's beautiful, mm, isn't that pretty? Look at the bottom. It's an old one, it's not that. Yeah, it's ribbed. Yes. Well, the ribbed one is actually the fingers of the potters. That, ah. That's how they, they, they... And that one possibly is from England because all the other stuff I got from that lady was from there. Was from there? Yeah. Oh, I love her so much. I got the bowl. I got some other stuff that I, did, I don't think I showed you guys that we'll do a haul later. I'm liking the books that have more detail in them, maybe. You know, one of these days I'm gonna find a place that looks similar to this and I'm gonna find the glassware that I want and it's gonna be the best day ever. <laughs> I it's gonna promise. Be sitting there. It's gonna be all clean and sparkly. No, I'm fine. It's gonna be dirty, it's gonna be cheap, and it's gonna sparkle up real nice. That's that's my plan for <laughs> for this. Well these jugs have been here for so long that there there's no more prices on the tag. Oh my gosh. How long has this stuff been here? I swear, I have a good feeling about it. I found the, <laughs> found the golden egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I know, but I just feel like this is the place. Like this, this type of place is where I'm just gonna find something like so great and so special because no one really looks. And I'm not finding anything. Look, in the <laughs> Are you see that side? Northwest. Call Kanye. She's fun. She had jokes today. Are we gonna find them? Are we gonna find? I don't know. Um, all the classware, and I didn't find that one. Oh, it's starting to. It feels like the rainforest. That's a chicken feeder right there. You would know. What was your chicken's name? Cleo. Cleo. Cleo tried Cleo. Cleo. Oh, Would you have more than one? I had Cleopatra and I had Caesar the dog. Oh, so just one chicken. I have a little story time for you guys. Do you guys remember that we came and found doors, French doors? When we got them back to the house and the workshop, I put them all next to each other. Two doors matched perfectly, and then the other two were the same height, but the pattern on them was slightly different. And I was like, oh, that's the worst. And I can't use them as double doors, obviously. We had to come back and get two different ones. They were still pretty, and I still have to work on them, but here, here's the ones we brought back, but they don't match. You're right there. I thought I was gonna have four of this kind of the same door, but then I only ended up with two. So one set. I moved around the laundry room where the laundry room is gonna be. So I need two 30 inch doors, wide doors for that area. And then I also need some doors for the guest cottages, for the closet and the bathrooms. I need more, but I think it's to a point now where I have enough to get started. My swans! I was so excited when I found those swans at the 
flea market. It's hard to find small ones, yeah, right? Sure. I see the bigger, yeah. larger ones. Mm -hmm. You guys look how pretty these cotton towels I got for the kitchen. I have been looking for some. They feel like cheese coal. Mom, come look at this frame. I don't want it, but like the, the depth, <laughs> the meatiness of that frame is crazy. <laughs> okay, it's all time. I am being a lot more selective, a lot more particular about the I know, I'm telling them. Particular about the items that I actually purchase. I, of course, love pottery still. I love all the jugs. I love all of that types of stuff, but we don't have the house built yet. And it's like, where do I put all of this stuff? And I wanna be more purposeful with the things that I'm kind of curating for the house, like for the decor. I wanna talk about these first, because I have, if you guys have seen any of my past flea market vlogs, maybe a year and a half ago, I found two brass swans. Can't remember how much I paid for them, but I had never seen small ones again. And I was like, man, when I find small ones again, I'm not going to pass it up. I'm gonna get them. They gave them to me for 15. They're very similar. One has their neck up and one has its neck down like that this was too cool this is a fireplace um, kind of sweeper vintage fireplace sweeper great for decor and look how textured it is with the black and the, the handle was so pretty I can see this as soon as I saw it, I was like oh my gosh I can see that with a little bit of hook coming out from the fireplace like this, hanging on the stone. I mean, that was like $8, $8. It's just so textural and cool. I love that. She had some pretty books that were more detailed and I was kind of gravitating towards that more. I used to find books in just uh -huh. pretty colors. Now I'm kind of into the vintage book style, but with a little more detailed book cover. All of her books were $5. Definitely been into dishware, glassware, and things like that. Look how pretty this set is. Look how pretty this bowl. You see the gold edges and how it's scalloped along the edge. Vintage Homer Laughlin Soup Bowl, Hudson's set of four. I want all of these like eclectic collection of vintage dishware, glassware, stuff like that for the cottage. Just special, special pieces. They were marked originally $16.95, but she already had that scratched out. A set of four. She had it marked for $10, but she gave them to me for eight. So they're $2 a bowl. Also, I got two two of these and they're just little vintage trinket dish two dollars so these were two dollars too i got two of those she only had two you can see that it's scalloped too along the edges and it has a little bit of detailing even though this doesn't have any gold on it like this Imagine these with all my vintage kind of really really textured glassware from the best lady in the world. I love her so much. I think her name, my mom said she thinks her name was Christina or Christine, I think Christina. She knows the history of items and she really cares about the pieces that she puts into her booth, which I find so cool because Things like this that are vintage have history. I actually saw this mixing bowl when we were there last time. She had it marked 24, but she gave it to me for 20. She's so sweet. From the same place that I found the swans, I found this. It's a very thin, it's very textured. It's a very thin blanket and it had really pretty colors in it. It's quite large. It would be so pretty hanging off of the back of a couch. These are new, these aren't vintage. Oh, but I love them. They're actually cotton and they look a little bit like cheesecloth. They're perfect for the kitchen. They're not solid white. They're more of a creamy type color, which you know I love, but I got four of them. They were $8 a piece. Guys, update on glassware. I found them. <laughs> well, my friend Denise found them and sent me a link. It's the exact glasses from my inspiration picture of what I've been looking for. And they're not vintage, but they are pretty. If you guys have been looking for vintage inspired glassware, I found these online. I'll leave them linked for you. I love that the design is from the top of the glass to the bottom. And even this is really textured. So they're really pretty. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy coming along to the flea markets. I hope when I look back at this footage that it's smoother and um, 
a little easier on the eye to watch as we're walking through these places. If you are not already subscribed to the vlog channel, hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know when I upload here. And of course, every Sunday over on my other channel with the renovation of the cottage. Kinsley, are you gonna come say hi? What did you do all day? What did you do all day? Did you miss me? Did you stay with your papa? Say bye to everybody. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye guys. Oh. I still feel like I'm letting go of you